Hey guys, my name is Bando, this is Brexit Man, and I wanted to talk about um, the Battle of Rofen 9. So, the Battle of Rofen 9 is going to be a Tale of Fort Gamers style um, series where members of the community have agreed to work on new armies or to expand existing armies. And where they're going to provide us with regular updates of their progress. Now, I did want to get everyone's test minis shown off today. Unfortunately, that's not going to be possible. And it's fairly understandable. Several people have been affected by uh, personal illnesses, the storm in America, that sort of thing. So we're going to wave off a little bit before we start showing off other people's models. And that's absolutely fine. I'm not worried about this. You know, I know these guys can do we will complete this challenge um, and obviously life comes first so instead I'm going to talk about what I'm doing and the force I've decided to do is this quick assault like smash and grab style um, attack force the idea is that the heavy weapons of this this group run out of ammunition you know they're down to sort of mostly melee weapons um, so they're sending in some assault marines and some destroyers to secure some ammunition but they're not afraid that if they can't have it they're not gonna let anyone else have it hence the destroyers and my force is made up of two unit of ten assault marines a unit of ten destroyers and an esoterrorist and the esoterrorist is an esoterrorist is a marine who has found out that they are psychers or uh, they were a psyker before Nikia uh, and they've started dabbling with their powers again and I quite like that idea for a space wolf because maybe it's you know he's had visions or something maybe the you know superstition has it that these guys are listening to what he's saying you know that sort of thing um in reality slapping him with a unit of these guys is going to do horrible things um but one thing i decided is i really want to do mark two marines huh. probably me. um i like mark two marines Rumour has it we'll be getting new Mark II Marines in summertime next year. I like the old Mark II Marines as they are. I've got no problem mixing and matching units. Um, and these models, this picture here specifically, the posing here on a lot of these guys is great. So, I thought, yeah, I'll get me some of these. So, the first sort of part of my army that I've ordered is two units or two sets of five assault marines to make my first squad. Uh, I've also got a unit of death swan. Now the death swan I'm going to be using for destroyers, but not these ones. I forgot I also had two apothecaries in the list. No, three apothecaries. It's two or three apothecaries, I can't quite remember. Either way, the Esoterrorist and the Apothecaries are going to be made using these bodies. They're not going to be painted up as Death Sworn. They will have, you know, the arms and the helmets removed and they will have the backpacks swapped for some Mark II packs. And I'll be using these guys to represent my Apothecaries and my Esoterrorist. And the Esoterrorist is going to be armed with Thunderhammer, which will probably be a conversion. And rather than just a straight up hammer. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. I have thought about the idea of clipping the head off one of these axes and giving him a small thunder hammer, kind of like Mjolnir style. Uh, I've also got a set of Grey Hunter parts coming, uh, mainly for these shoulder pads. I love these shoulder pads. They're very iconic for Space Wolves. Oh, I'm really sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Um, yeah, for a lot of the older artwork has these guys um, with these sort of like segmented shoulder pads. Not a big fan of the leather bound heads, that's not a problem. 
but the arms, the axes, the bolters, they'll be fine to use. And also some good old fashioned Mark II Space Wolf shoulder pads. So that's my plan for my first um, my first goal. Now my first goal is I want to build it all. Get it all put together, get these guys looking how I want to get them done. And then really powering my way through it and getting a first unit of assault marines finished. I reckon huh, that should probably take me two weeks. So if we if I do an update video for when they arrive and I I you know put them together and I show show the models off. Give me two weeks from there, I reckon I can have these guys finished. And then uh, I'll move on to, you know, I'll do stuff on kit bashing, the apothecaries and the esoterist. And we'll see how we go from there. But um, before we go there, I want to show you how I intend to paint them. And I've got a couple of test minis here that I want to show off. And um, I want you to let me know what you think. So let's have a look at them. So, how do I intend to paint these Space Wolves? Well, I've got two different colour schemes. Um, one is very traditional to what would be considered the pre-heresy colours or 30k colours for it. Uh, it is a darker scheme. And then I have a lighter scheme which is in line with uh, older depictions of heresy era um, Space Wolves from things like the Index Astartes books and also how the 13th Great Company are depicted in Codex Armageddon which, you know, for those of you who don't know, uh, the 13th Great Company were a formation of Space Wolves lost during the Battle of Prospero and they appeared from the warp during the battle for the third war of armageddon i believe it was um an entire great company of pre-heresy space marines appeared out of the warp to help people there was only one problem um they'd been fighting in the warp for ten thousand years um they'd had to scavenge equipment from people like the word bearers and they had a mixture of like chaos equipment and regular marine equipment but they were painted in a very different style to the baby blue you'd expect for Space Wolves. So let's look at him first. And that is this guy. So, this just a kind of throwaway test model I had. Um, is, is, is very much a lighter grey. And this is Game Air Vallejo's Stonewall Grey. And it's just a single coat of that, or it's a layer of that. There's no, there's no highlights or anything, and then it's just washed with uh, Agrax, Agrax Earth shade. Pads are just black, metallics are just metallics, nothing special, and then it's a little bit of I think capo red for the the red on the model. And I quite like this. It's very bright. It's nice and simple. It's very quick to do. Um, I would probably replace the Agrax with sort of an oil wash mix, maybe. Do something a bit more, uh, a bit fancier, maybe get the weathering up in a bit more, add some chipping, that sort of thing. And I quite like this. Um, I like the image in my head of this Space Wolf's Force is pretty much this colour. But I also did this one. Then I have this one, which is a more traditional uh, colour scheme. You know, it's it's a very dark grey. It's kind of a slightly bluish grey. Uh, and this is AK Interactive's lead grey. Um, and then I've given this a, uh, a wash of, I think this wasn't Null Noil. I think, I think this was Null Noil, sorry, not Agrax. Um... And then, you know, I mean, the little details like the, the free handing and stuff is just going to be something I'd replicate on both of them. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I quite like this dark grey as well. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this. Um, you know, which way's which. I like them both. 
I'm thinking maybe I might do the destroyer unit in this crate. Ooh. That was uh, almost a catastrophe. I think I just popped a bollock as well, trying to catch that thing. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm thinking maybe the destroyers will get done in this color scheme. And then the regular assault marines will get done in this scheme. Which I, I do like this more. What I might do is swap out the black for that dark grey. And keep that kind of connected. Yeah, I think that would work quite well. I do like these old Mark III. Now the next question is um, probably going to be the one that gets me the most hate. And... Uh, I'll probably leave that for another video, just to wind. Uh, I think I'm going to do it. I'm I'm 99% sh like set in my mind that I'm going to do it, and I think I'm going to do it just to annoy people. Um, so yeah, let's um, let's see what we're going to do next. Now, lastly, guys, uh, just an update. We have actually been um, joined by another user, Kino Organis uh, has joined us. And he'll be doing the Sons of Horus. And his Sons of Horus unit is um, basically they're in they're, they're like proto inducti. They're the last load of Chthonians and they're kind of rejecting the gang culture of the Legion, how it's shifting over towards more ruthlessness, and they're trying to hold on to being who they were or you know their ideals of the legion and he's also painting them based on the old warhammer visions artwork so they're not wearing the sea green of sons of horus he's gone for the more mottled sort of gray and red look um which is going to be really interesting so welcome kino that's going to be really fun to have you here um yeah that's a you know another, another traitor added to the list so yeah let's um let's have a look at this so hopefully uh, next week we will be able to get everyone's test mini and it's just a single test mini. I know some people like Mitch have really raced ahead and I know some other guys want to just bulk paint. Um, and that's fine, you know. There is no prize for coming first. There is a prize for me throwing hard drives off of my desk for no reason. Um, that's going to be so expensive. <laughs> um... Yeah, there's no prize for going for this. No prizes in this at all. Or is there? Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that that's, that's you know, we're going to do another update next week. Um, and we'll see how we go. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, have a great day. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. If you have any suggestions, you know where to put them. Come join us over on Discord. And uh, I always appreciate all of you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.